In the early 90s, there was a great experiment called the Biosphere 2. It was an attempt to create the perfect environment for human, plant, and animal life. Everything seemed to do well with the exception of one thing. When the trees that had been planted there grew to be a certain height, the tops would simply bend over or snap off. This baffled scientists for the longest time, until one day they realized the one natural element they had forgotten to recreate in a biodome, wind. These scientists realized that trees have to have wind, and the trees have to be able to move freely in the wind in order to grow a strong trunk and an expansive root system. When you restrict a tree's natural movement, it limits the tree's ability to develop properly and support itself. Just look at current tree staking procedures. Whether metal stakes are used, cabling systems, driving anchors into the ground with webbing attached, wood posts, their goals are all the same. Keep the tree's trunk and canopy from moving. But why? It's the roots you're trying to protect. Additionally, by making the tree so rigid, you've taken away the tree's natural ability to flex and absorb the wind, which is how the tree protects the roots. Another thing people do when planting a tree is to mound the mulch up in the form of a funnel in order to capture the water and feed the tree. Of course, it's great that the tree is getting water, but think about this. You now have a newly planted tree with a very distinctive root ball. It's being supported by external means and not encouraged to move, and you're feeding the tree directly at the root ball. Chances are, this tree doesn't even know it's out of the container it was grown in. UPI Manufacturing spent over two years testing and developing proper tools and an alternative method for stabilizing a tree. We talked to growers and arborists, landscape contractors and architects, and came up with a product that provides the exact opposite of almost every tree staking product on the market today, tree stabilizer kits. The concept is very simple. Install the inch and a half perforated pipes outside of the root ball and connect the harnesses. Now, every time it rains, the sprinkler system goes off or you hand water, there are one, two, three 20 inch tubes saturating the ground around the tree and encouraging the roots to grow away from the tree and deeper into the ground. As we showed earlier, one of the main reasons conventional tree staking systems fail is because they make the tree too rigid. They take away the tree's ability to flex and absorb the wind. So here's a 15 gallon tree installed with tree stabilizer kits. We have left the mulch off and didn't paint the tubes so you can see better how the system works. Notice how even in extreme situations the trunk of the tree is able to sway back and forth absorbing the energy and only slightly moving the root ball. It is this movement that demands that the tree build a strong root system in order to survive. Even with a 45 gallon queen palm, the tree stabilizer kits can keep the tree upright. As the tree is pushed by the wind, the straps keep the root ball down and from lifting, and the straps will even push the tree back in place. So here's the same tree, but with metal stakes. Watch how when the pressure is put on the tree, it moves, but it will not bounce back because of the location of the supports. Additionally, look how it just simply moves the supports out of the way. We have now shown how the tree stabilizer kits can create a stronger trunk, more expansive and healthier root system, all by allowing natural movement of the canopy. The kits keep the tree more vertical than conventional staking techniques. They're safer for public areas or areas where children play. They provide oxygen and time-release fertilization to the roots. They conserve water by controlling runoff and allowing for direct watering to the root ball through drip irrigation or hand watering. And they're ideal for municipalities, schools, parks, and playgrounds. So after all this, if you're still not sure that the tree stabilizer kits are right for your customers, ask them before they ask you why you didn't use them.